to bring to your attention some of the common they're not really common some of the tax deductions that people tend to overlook uh, but we think that they're common but so uh, my name is Noni Nowaseki I'm a certified public accountant and you're watching Black Pumps TV we are not giving you any tax advice or any financial advice so please consult with your tax accountant before you implement anything that we say so do you know that some homeowner insurance expenses can be deducted on your tax return? Generally, homeowner's insurance premiums are not tax deductible, so you're not able to deduct them as you can deduct your property taxes. However, some portion of the premium you paid may be deductible if they are allocated to your home office. So if you have a home office that's deductible, all the related expenses can be deducted. Example, if you're deducting 10% of your home as your home office expense deduction, 10% of your insurance premium can also be deducted. Same as some of your utility, which normally will not be tax deductible, you can deduct that. Just because that portion qualified as a home office. If you didn't watch last week, please go back and listen to what we talked about last week on homeowner's uh, deduction, home office deduction. Home-related losses your insurance did not cover. So this will include if you have theft and casualty losses. And this particular one, it could be tricky because you, know, you have to make sure that they're qualified before you can deduct them. But those are things that you can deduct. If let's say you have a $10,000 loss, and your insurance covered only 5,000, you may be able to deduct the additional 5,000 after $100. So uh, perhaps you should be able to deduct about 4,900 of that. The cost of your private mortgage insurance, we know this as PMI, a lot of people miss this deduction. If you're paying PMI on your mortgage, make sure that you're deducting that. However, make sure that your loan is not a VA loan because this is not applicable to VA loan. that your PMI is tax deductible. And if you have homeowners insurance premiums that cover your rental property, those are business expenses. So let's say you're renting your house. You're renting one room in your house and you're paying premium. Insurance premium for your home, that portion is deductible. So I think we all know that already. So 100% of that premium, if you have like a rental property, you already know that because you're now filing a Schedule E, that is deductible if your house is 100% rented. So these are the little things that we think that people miss. There's more, but you have to make sure that you talk to your tax accountant, tell them your tax situation. If you buy a new house or if you did an improvement in a house that you're renting out for business, Make sure that you tell your tax preparer because there are so many rules that can help them accelerate the deduction and perhaps get you more refund or at the minimum pay less taxes. So let's keep watching this channel. Let's keep coming every Wednesday. This is our wealthy place. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, remain fabulous and do me a favor. Be good to yourself. Thank you.